Hey everyone, and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new 2022 Alta 1900 MMK travel trailer by East to West. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV. Then we're gonna close it up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right guys, we are now up inside the new Alta 1900 MMK here for the 2022 lineup. We'll spin our way through the inside here and then we'll head back outside, show you around as well. So first things up, we're kind of looking back toward the rear of the coach, the kitchen area back here. Um, we have up top here a 32 inch Furion TV feature is on a swing arm so you can swing it out and watch it more comfortably. Down below that is a Furion sound bar with an FM radio built in as well. Quite a bit of counter space here for your kitchen area. You have three full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers right here for a lot of storage. You have quite a bit of storage below the sink area there as well. Sink is an undermount stainless sink, which is kind of a large single bowl sink. High rise spring sprayer faucet there. You do also have the plastic sink cover. Some storage up above that area there. Traditional 110 volt microwave. You have the Greystone hood range with light and fan built in there. Three burner stove top with the oven below, which does have the glass front, has a light built in. Also, you have the lighted knobs and also have the glass cover to give you a little more counter space if you're not using the oven. Just down below the oven is your electric box with your breakers and fuses. And obviously you can see the LED tow kick lighting down below. Over on this side here, you have one of your heat duct vents down here, the little white round vent there. And then the little black square down there is your LP leak detector. Air conditioner and furnace controls right here on the hallway wall. And that is a digital thermostat. Up above here, you can see you have the traditional RV air conditioner here. It is ducted through the roof and it does have the quick cool feature here as well. There is also a vent right there with the fan as well. Back here on the other side of the oven, you have four more full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers right here. So you can store quite a bit of stuff in here. Again, quite a bit more counter space back here in the back section. And then you have two separate overhead cabinet areas here, one next to the refrigerator, and then the one area next to the microwave. So quite a bit of storage there as well. And you can also see down below here, there is an electric outlet and also the pre-wire for the King Wi-Fi Connect feature if you wanted to add that aftermarket. Talk with your sales guy about that. Over here we have our refrigerator and that is a 10.7 cubic foot Magic Chef 12 volt refrigerator. So there is no propane or electricity, it is basically a 12 volt system. So as long as you have a good battery, you will be able to boondock camp. Now your battery charges off the converter system when it is plugged into electric. Uh, if your vehicle has a tow charge wire, it'll charge while you're driving down the road. And also you can have that standard solar panel that you could option in for a larger setup as well if you wanted to. Um, so very nice to have these new 12 volt refrigerators in the RVs. You have a sliding door here to block off your bathroom area. You can see pop up there. On into the bathroom area here, you have a walk-in shower 
And that walk-in shower does have a slide across um, door here to basically kind of keep that water in. It's kind of a vinyl slide door there. Down below you have your porcelain foot flush toilet. You also have some storage under the sink area there, a little cabinet area as well. Ground fault electric breaker in there. And you have a pretty large medicine cabinet, storage cabinet here, along with the fan up top. There's also air conditioning and heat in the bathroom as well. Spinning back around here. This unit has the theater seating here, which does kick back into a reclining setup here. Um, besides reclining, this thing has a little bit of storage in the middle. It also has cup holders in the middle, and they also have these little tables that you can stick in here, in the cup holders, basically. It has these little spacer things that you stick down in the cup holder, allowing you to put these two little tables that'll spin around and move around or you can take them out. So if you do want to sit down and try and eat something inside the RV, um, you can pop up these little tables as this does not have a traditional dinette system. Uh, but those do kind of come in handy, basically like little TV trays. Now over here, you have quite a bit of storage in this cabinet area as well. Down below that is the furnace return and there's an electric outlet and some USB charger ports there as well. You'll also notice, I've kind of forgot to mention some of the new features for 2022, but um, the cabinets are different. So you've got a lot lighter cabinet, you also have different wall board, and you have different flooring in the RV. Um, so a whole new look for the overall RV inside and new furniture color as well. Also on the slide, you'll notice that it is a matching linoleum floor instead of carpet. That was one of the other changes that they did. Now over here, we have a, another sofa and that sofa has little kick out footrest. It does not recline all the way back like the theater seat or anything, uh, but it does have little kick out footrest so you could relax there as well. Or if you wanted to lay down across the couch, you could do that. Now this couch will flip down and when that couch flips down, the bed will actually fold out. So you have kind of a Murphy style bed set up here on this model. Uh, very nice, pretty comfortable bed area actually, but you got kind of your choice of how you want to lay everything out and use it. On each side of that area, you have an electric outlet with USB charger ports, a little bit of storage area there, and you got some little counter space. Hanging closet on each side as well. And then you do have another fan up top there, or another uh, roof vent. Doesn't have the fan in it, but it does have a roof vent. And then above the entry door area right here is a motion light as well, and you can turn this motion light on, off, or leave it in motion mode, depending on what you prefer. Over here next to the entry door, you have a light switch. Up above here, you have your main control panel. This right here is the power awning button. You have a power button, extend, and a retract button. It is a one-touch power awning. Slide out in and out. Interior light switch to turn on the lights above the slide out right here. And then the next switch, you're going to have an interior light switch for a few of the ceiling lights. Then you have your awning light and you have your gas uh, water heater button, your water pump button, monitor panel up top here for the battery and your gray, black, and fresh water tanks all located right here. Just down below by the entry door, you have another heat duct, and you'll notice that the heat ducts are ducted through the cabinets and not through the actual subfloor. Some of the changes for 2022, you can obviously see lighter cabinets here, different furniture color. Um, they also changed up the countertop a little bit as well. 
Now I want to show you what this bed looks like, kind of how it comes in and out real quick. So we'll do that real fast. Let me set the camera down here real quick. Hopefully this looks somewhat decent here in the footage here. But basically this jackknife sofa here folds down. Then you got two latches up here. You pull these two latches. The bed comes down out of the wall here. And it's real nice and easy to do. It's not real hard. Pretty comfy mattress as well. And then it flips back up pretty simple as well all right so i want to take you on through to the outside of the camper now and then we'll come back in here and show you what it looks like closed so we're going to head on out to the outside we'll be right back on the outside all right guys we are now back on the outside of the all new 2022 alta 1900 mmk travel trailer by east to west we're going to start here on the door side of the rv and kind of spin our way around so first things up we have a white fiberglass exterior with the backer being an asdale composite material instead of a wood luon board so that's a nice upgrade for the alta product line uh, definitely check out the Asdale website for more information about that, but a real good improvement for construction. Down below, you have a black lower metal skirting. You have a power awning with an LED light strip built in standard, along with adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. And when you were inside there, you've seen the push button control. It is that one touch control to take it in or out and turn off the power. Up front here, you do have a really nice size pass-through storage compartment area here. Nice and tall, electric outlet on this side along with an, a light there. But the extra height comes from the drop style frame here. A lot of brands have a straight frame, so this compartment would not be as tall if it was done like that. So this just gives you a little more height in your storage area. Now down below here, you can also see you have front electric stabilizer jacks on this unit. You have deep tent safety glass windows on the RV. Very nice to have the darker tented windows just to kind of help keep it cool in the summertime. Also, it helps a little bit with the privacy of the RV as well. This one was ordered with the upgraded more ride step above step. This step comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable feet depending on the terrain you're on. And it's rated for 500 pounds basically, where all the traditional hover step is only rated for 300 pounds. So it's a little bit heavier duty step and it doesn't shake the RV as bad when you're running in and out. Now, when you order this step, you also get back in behind there, you can see pop up in the picture, the little dirty toolbox area right there. So you could throw some of your tools and stuff inside there and lock that. And then the step flips up and down, obviously inside the RV. If you get the hover style step, you do not get that toolbox as the step is in that area and folds out from there. You have the large folding entry handle on the RV right here, getting in and out of the doorway there. Next to that is your model number sticker. Um, that basically, again, telling you 1900 MMK. So if you're out shopping and looking at a dealer's lot, look for the model number there so you know what to tell the salesperson you liked. You'll also see the extended climate package sticker there as well. Basically just kind of referring to the fact that the unit does have the enclosed heated underbelly. Now, another big change for the 2022 lineup um, is going to be the tires on the RV. They are now using the Goodyear Endurance tires instead of the traditional off-brand tire you find on most RVs. So big improvement on tire quality as well for 2022. Um, just below the uh, grab handle there is also the little pet friendly leash latch. So if you have a dog or something that you want to leash up right here, you can do so. You have two outdoor speakers up above the window there. And down below the word Alta there, you have an electric outlet and a cable slash satellite outlet. So you could plug in a TV here if you wanted to. 
In the back storage compartment here, you do have the uh, outside refrigerator, a little mini fridge. Now these mini fridges are just electric, so you have to be plugged in in order to use that. Down below that, you can also see again, rear power stabilizer jack on the unit here. And you can also see the gas line hookup here for a portable grill. If you wanted to do some sort of aftermarket grill and plug it in, you could do so. Now, one other thing that I forget to mention sometimes is gonna be your baggage doors on here. Magnetic holders instead of plastic clips slam lock baggage door latches, and also thicker, better insulated baggage doors compared to a lot of RV trailers. Uh, this is more of what you would find on a higher quality fifth wheel, having that thicker, better insulation value. Going on around to the rear of the coach, you have a cold water spray port here on the back of the RV, and it comes with the little blue hose right there. The unit has a nice crown arch to the roof line up there, which basically helps with water runoff and stuff like that. Um, but very, very nice setup the way they build their unit. You have foam block laminated roof, walls, and floor, aluminum frame studding throughout the wall construction, floor construction, and roof construction. Um, so it is a higher quality build of the body as well. On the back back here, you have your six gallon gas and electric water heater. You can see in that picture popping up there, you have the inch and a 16th drain plug in the bottom middle. You have the electric switch in the lower left and your pressure relief valve up top there in the center. Ladder on the back here to help you get up and down off the coach to kind of inspect it, check it out if you want to. Um, definitely get up on the roof. You can see here popping up in this picture. There's a lot of stuff up here from the air conditioner, skylights, plumbing stack vents, the 50 watt solar panel that's standard on the RV. Um, so you got quite a few things up there. All those things are mounted, screwed down, sealed up. You gotta get up there from time to time, check all those seals and stuff, guys. Really, really important so your RV doesn't leak and get damaged. Up top here in the back is also pre-wire for a Furion backup camera. Uh, or observation camera. I would recommend the observation camera as it will allow you to see what's going on behind you when you are traveling down the road. Spare tire on the back bumper here. You can obviously see that, but that is mounted to the four inch square tube bumper. The end caps pop off the bumper and a lot of people will store a dump hose in their rear bumper. Just down below there is a low point water drain setup for your hot and cold for winterization purposes. On around to this other side here, we can also see we have our dump area down here. And it's really nice, they are currently using a cable dump handle system. So your dump gate valves are up inside that enclosed underbelly, again, trying to make it more four season capable. So your gate valves are up inside there and you have pull cables to pull and dump. Um, also, you can see down here, again, enclosed underbelly under there. And again, the power jacks and all that stuff down here, along with a little light. So if you have to come out at night and dump, you have a light out here to kind of help see what's going on. There's uh, individual switches for your power jack feature as well, guys. Um, a lot of brands do manual jacks with option for power. And then those power jacks just have one button for front, one button for back. Alta here does one button for um, each side, basically. So you have four buttons, two for the back, two for the front. So you can actually kind of help level it out a little bit better than what you could with the less expensive version of these power jacks. Detachable power cord here. This is stretched out probably 25 to 30 feet roughly in length, um, but it is detachable. So when you go to put it up, you just quickly unhook it, roll it up, throw it in a storage compartment, and you're good to go. It's just a little more easier to use than those pull-out cords where you gotta try and shove it back in the tiny hole. 
Uh, black tank flush also is located right back here on this side. And basically what that allows you to do is hook a hose to the side here and flood the toilet tank, rinsing it out when you're dumping. The furnace exhaust out right here as well. Slide out is electric. You'll see how that works when we go in and out here shortly and close her up. Just in front of the slide here is obviously the front jacks with their individual buttons. And then down below, you can also see your fresh water tank drain as well. Over here on this side of the storage compartment is your docking station area right here, guys. So you have an electric outlet in here, you have a cable satellite inlet, you have the light switch for the front lights on the cap. You have a motion light in here you can turn on and off. Your solar charge controller located in here telling you what's going on with that. Battery disconnect, outside hot and cold utility shower, and your fresh water inlet and city water inlet. And you can basically feed your hoses and stuff through this bottom right here and hook everything up, close your door. And over on this side, you've got a couple handles, one for the power jack and also one to manually override the other jacks. Door here is again swing door to close that door. Just in front of that is some stickers. We're going to pop these stickers up here for you guys real quick. These are very important informational stickers for you. The very first sticker right here is going to be your main data sticker. It tells you your production date, VIN number. It tells you your axle size, it tells you some tire information, all located right here. Most importantly on that sticker is your gross vehicle weight. Do not exceed that gross vehicle weight rating of the RV. That is basically your frame, hitch weight, axle weight, everything kind of combined as to most you can load it to. Next is going to be your unloaded vehicle weight sticker. And that basically tells you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line, along with now having the length of the RV on there as well. Next up is going to be your carrying capacity sticker. This basically tells you how much cargo you can load into this RV before you exceed that uh, gross vehicle weight. Very important. Again, guys, don't exceed that. Next is going to be your tire sticker. Tire sticker here is basically telling you how much uh, pressure your tires are rated for at a certain weight and all that type of stuff. Um, so make sure you do check your tire pressure, guys. Very, very important to check it before you take off on your trip. If your tire pressure gets too low, it will easily blow out the tires because they can't handle the weight of the RV. So make sure you check that tire pressure before every trip. On around to the front side here, we have a three-quarter fiberglass front cap with two really nice warm LED glow lights on the front that you turn on and off in that docking station. But basically three-quarter cap, uh, it's heavier duty than a traditional rolled fiberglass and obviously heavier duty than the metal-sided RVs, um, but really good cap look to it as well. Down below that is a black diamond plate area here. And a lot of RVs do the black diamond plate down on the bottom in case, you know, rocks and stuff fly up and hit it. It's a lot easier to replace a piece of metal down on the bottom portion than it is to refiberglass and paint a cap if the cap were to come all the way down. So that is the main reason why you'll see mostly three quarter caps on trailers nowadays. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball. You do have a little holder down here that they added for your safety chains and your seven way Bartman wiring plug. So you can kind of store that stuff right there. Now, the again, unit has a seven way wiring system and that is gonna run your running lights and feeds the brakes and all that type of stuff. Um, but very important guys to make sure you have an electronic brake control in your tow vehicle. Um, the unit has four wheel electric drum brakes. And if you don't have a brake controller in your vehicle, 
you will not be able to use the brakes on the RV, and that means it's gonna try and push you down the road when you go to stop. So talk with your sales guy about that if your tow vehicle doesn't already have it. Uh, be sure to let them know that. You have two 20 pound propane tanks up front here with the auto changeover regulator. There is a battery area back in behind here. So you could do one or two batteries depending on the size of the battery you choose. Um, talk with your sales guy about that as well. But overall, very nicely finished off front section for a travel trailer. And again, guys, this is more on the higher end of travel trailers when it comes to construction of an RV. Um, so definitely check out that portion of the RV and compare that when you are out shopping. Having all that fiberglass, aluminum framing in your walls, roof and floor, the Asdale composite materials, the heavier duty caps, all that type of stuff really adds into that build quality of the RV. All right, guys, thank you for checking out this portion of the video. We are gonna head back inside now. I wanna close it up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now back inside the new Alta 1900 MMK here. And I just wanna show you how the room kind of goes in and out and what it looks like when it's all closed up here. Uh, so very first thing you wanna do before you close your slide room is make sure that there is nothing in the floor that the slide out's gonna run over and tear up your vinyl floor. So no leaves, twigs, debris, kids' toys, uh, pebbles, all that type of stuff. Make sure that floor is clean because the slide has no mercy. It will run it over and tear things up if you're not careful. So right up here on your controls is your slide button again, guys. And all you gotta do is hit the button to bring it in. The slide kind of lifts up a little bit. You've seen there, I'll stop to let off the button here. Uh, but it kind of lifts up and comes in over top of the main subfloor. So again, make sure there's nothing in the way. Also make sure those cabinet doors are closed over there before you obviously close it or open it as well, because you could damage those doors. You kind of hear that ratchety noise that lets me know that the slide is all the way in. So with this slide all the way in, I can still fully come in here and get to my bathroom, my kitchen, load my refrigerator, my cabinets, all that type of stuff. So you can come right on in here and do almost everything you really need to do with the slide closed. The only thing that it really kind of interferes with is gonna be your bed area here. And that will not allow you to put the bed down when the slide is closed. So you would have to run that out if you're coming in to sleep. But very simple and easy to do when you are ready to do it. You just hit the button to bring it back out and the slide goes right back out. Now, in case of an electronic failure, there is a manual override for the slide as well. So you could manually roll it in and out as well. When it goes all the way out, you kind of get that same ratchety noise there. And you got plenty of room in here to camp in. All right, guys, thanks a bunch for taking the time to watch my video. I hope it was real helpful for you. Uh, we'll be updating more 2022s as they roll in, guys. Really do appreciate it. Thanks again.